hey guys welcome back to the channel um welcome if you are new i got a couple new um subscribers oh my god i'm at 101 subscribers oh my gosh i'm so i'm so excited about that um it was it, it took a minute to get there but we're here and i know it's only 100 um and one subscribers but you gotta appreciate the little things before you can get the big things and so i appreciate all 101 of you um hopefully it speeds up from here but yeah thank you thank you thank you so much i'm so appreciative i don't care how many people if it, when i had 20 subscribers i was appreciative appreciative of that um so yeah, so today we are going, okay, so I, I'm, it's about 7.15 right now. I'm still laying down. I'm waiting for my mom to get up. We're going to the gym still. And of course, I will take you on my journey to the gym, show you my workout that I did, because that's always a, you know, plus. Um, and then after that, we're going, I'm going to the grocery store. Um, I want to go to Sprouts. I've never been to Sprouts. Sprouts is pretty much like Whole Foods, just a little smaller. Um, they have um, pasteurized organic eggs that my friend um, told me about and it's like a whole dollar cheaper than Vital Farms same quality so um, I'm going I'm literally going to Sprouts just for those eggs <laughs> because um, I watched uh, I think I think Thomas DeLaw I think he went to Sprouts and he said and so did Flake City and they both said that it's a little bit more expensive certain things um, so yeah we'll see but i'm mostly going to spouts for the eggs and then i might go to trader joe's which is like right next door because they have sunflower seeds that i like roasted sunflower seeds that are literally just roasted sunflower seeds and sea salt that's it so yeah so i'm gonna take you on my journey to the grocery store and of course i'll show you what i get when i get home um and then after that um i don't know I may break down um, the do's or the don'ts of keto because I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, I have two people who I'm actually helping out right now. So um, I think I'm going to show you, yeah, I think I'm going to do the do's and the don'ts that I've come across so far. If this is something that you want to watch, if you're interested, please keep on watching. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
you go. I'm back. This is all everything I got from Sprouts. I kind of did a little bit of damage, about over $100 worth of damage. Um, but this is what I got. Like I said, if you want to eat healthy, you're going to have to spend a little bit of coin. So let's start from the left. So we're going to start with um, the beef. All natural, 100% grass fed. Grass fed, y'all already know the deal. Um, no added antibiotics or growth hormones ever. You always wanted to say ever, except for these. I'll get to these, then I'll tell you why they don't say ever. But these, you wanted your beef to say never, ever, never, ever, along with other things. But anyways, I digress. So ever, because um, if it just says no added antibiotics or growth hormones, that means that it could possibly have not had that. Uh, only in the last 30 days, which they're legally able to say. Um, it's when they're about to be, you know, uh, ready for the store, then um, that means that they've had them before and they just didn't have them in the last 30 days. But when they say ever, that means they've never, ever been fed, fed antibiotics. So that's great. Um, then we have um, these vital proteins, collagen peptides, as we know, as I said in my last video, I think with my bone broth, collagen is good for the hair. It, well, it says right here, um, the skin, the hair, the nails, and joint support. Um, it, collagen is basically connective tissue. It helps to re rejuvenate and revitalize your connective tissue, have your, make to make your skin look nice and smooth and young. And, um, we lose our collagen, we lose collagen as we grow older. The collagen doesn't get produced as much. Um, that's why you got to get it in your, make sure you have it in your diet. So then we have organic baby kale. I'm trying to stay away from, um, spinach because spinach oxidizes in your blood. And when, um, it causes oxidation, it's, sticks to certain things I, you look do your research i know why i'm not eating the kale Some, i know that it oxidizes and when it oxidizes it does things in your blood and causes certain uh stresses that can cause inflammation and yada 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 and so on and so on and so forth so i'm staying away from kale i mean sorry kale uh spinach sorry i'm staying away from skin it's, oh god spinach <laughs> and i'm gonna i'm gravitating to baby kale um not a lot of people like kale but baby kale actually tastes a little bit better it's a little bit softer and um, more palatable so um also um i'm going to eat this whole five ounces because according to dr berg and my research um we should be getting at least seven cups of veggies a day i don't care if you're keto if you're paleo if you're vegan well if you're vegan you can eat uh, vegetables but whatever you are you need your uh greens um so especially leafy greens and that's where you get your potassium um from as well so you want your greens every ounce of greens is a cup so i have five ounces so therefore i have five cups apparently we're supposed to be having at least seven uh cups a day so i'm uh, this is what 85 percent right here next i have organic uh past pasteurized organic eggs i'm so excited for these these are these are on sale for 4.99 their original price is 6.49 which is basically the same thing as vital farms um some places i think in even a whole foods you can get it for 5.49 these um they were 4.99 on sale at sprouts um today is july 30th so they should, at least at my sprouts they were on sale um, now, these say non-GMO, no antibiotics, and they don't say ever. I already did my research, and I, I Googled it, and I searched, and I went on their website, and these do not, um, they don't use antibiotics ever. I'm assuming the reason why they don't have to say ever is because it is non-GMO and um, pasteurized and organic. So, I guess that just goes to say that they are raised humanely, and the way they're supposed to, that they don't really have to say no about antibiotics ever so but these have never had antibiotics either you want no antibiotics because that's what's wrong with us now that's why antibiotics stopped working in our body because we're getting all these antibiotics from all these foods that we're eating um and our body is becoming immune to the antibiotics and then you have to get like a z-pack of a whole bunch of antibiotics to see which one works and yada 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 and anybody got time for that so try to get uh no antibiotics in your uh meats and your eggs and your dairy and things like that all right, let's move forward. So, <clears throat> bacon. So, I got um, bacon from the butcher shop. Um, at, I think the butcher shop is only at Sprouts. I think. I could be wrong. 
look it up but <laughs> this is uncured no sugar because every single bacon that you will find in the store has brown sugar cane sugar fructose corn syrup sugar like there's like you, you can hardly ever find bacon with no sugar well this one has no sugar and just to make sure that that this is the ingredients pork prepared with water salt and celery powder zero sugar no sugar the butcher shop look them up all right so bacon goes inside that right let's bacon all right so miracle noodles this is made with where is that cognac flour look at the carbs one actually it's like negative one carbs because um the fiber like it's so much fiber that the carbs are really negligible and there are two servings which means i can eat this whole thing i can make me a little uh stir fry linguine what is it is this linguine a fettuccine style i can make me a fettuccine alfredo with some shrimp and and have me a whole a whole a whole ball out here um with the miracle noodles these are uh, plant-based noodles they are keto and paleo friendly i will be having some of these to probably tomorrow um because i'm gonna have my salad today y'all know i only eat one meal um a day and a snack so these will probably be, get, be uh, made tomorrow then we have my favorite bars the only bars i can really have don't have them very often honestly between the last video and this video that's the last time i had it like the last food haul which was basically my last video that's the last time i had um these i got a, they, i saw this flavor at sprouts so i wanted to try this but um this is a plant-based one and this is chocolate chip cookie dough flavor and this one is cookies and cream or oreo flavored so <coughs> excuse me so these are my little snacks that i got i didn't get the keto cups like i did last time because i couldn't find them so i got instead of this and a keto cup i got two of these so if you watched my last video you already seen the ingredients and everything like that and they're pretty good and they are keto friendly yeah keto 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 all right moving on my goat cheese goat cheese is always uh 100 grass fed um not much else to say about that i love my freaking goat cheese i put this on my eggs when i make my eggs i sprinkle it on top of my eggs um and that's my cheese most of the time i'm tr i try to veer away from too much cheese um and if i'm gonna have cheese it's gonna be this kind of cheese for the most part now um uh, beef sticks i usually get chomps um beef sticks but i saw this in there and these are by country archer um beef stick it's a hundred percent grass fed and i believe there's no sugar those are the ingredients no sugar absolutely no sugar so these are good to get so either chomps or a country archer a good beef stick to get now we have my salmon because y'all know i love my salmon specifically um wild smoked wild alaskan sockeye salmon sockeye salmon is the most nutrient dense salmon that you can get um the fatty acid profile is great the nutrient profile is great protein is great you'll get your dhas your omega 3s and all of the and so on and so forth in um the sockeye salmon they also do something as far as um like the, the stress in our body they because they're very protein uh please hang up and try again when you, okay, so when we work out, we cause stress in our body, which causes inflammation. These salmon also they fly, they fly, they swim upstream, which is basically a workout for them. Uh, so that puts stress on their body. But then they have a enzyme. Ugh, forget the name of the enzyme. Um, look it up. <laughs> but there's an enzyme that they have that kind of counter uh, acts the stress that's put on their body. And when we eat it, it counteracts the stress that we put on our body. So just sock our salmon. That's why it's so expensive because it is the most healthiest, most nutrient dense, most uh, beneficial salmon that we can eat. So if you wonder why it costs so much, that's why. So there's that. Now, we have my duck fat. Oh, 
love my duck fat. I'm almost done. Look, hold on. Where's my... Uh, look, I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom of this one. Scraping. So, um, I got another one. Uh, duck fat is good for your cholesterol. It is much better than using um, any kind of other oil, to be honest with you. Um, and there's a few other nutrients. Look, okay. Do your research. <laughs> Don't, don't be mad at me but i wouldn't tell you to, to get anything that i wouldn't get myself that i haven't done my research on it's a lot of stuff I'm, I'm in nursing school i got too much stuff in my head but duck fat do your research it's very good for you um so yeah there's that get get you some have kettle and fire i'm gonna get sponsored by them watch watch i'm putting it i'm manifesting it right now kettle and fire I'm going to get sponsored by them. Watch. Watch. But anyways, so this is um, a soup, Kettle and Fire Bone Broth Soup. It's made from bone broth, and it's um, broccoli cheddar flavored. I haven't had their soup yet, though. Um, I've had their bone broth a number of times, but the soup I haven't had yet. It is obviously keto-friendly. And these are the ingredients. Everything is organic, as usual. Um, there are two servings in here, but I'll probably have the whole thing. I'll probably like this will be like a meal for me um more than likely so <clears throat> there are let's see six net carbs um 27 grams of fat this well there's five there's three net carbs but for two servings there you just double everything pretty much so yeah this will be like a meal for me um when I have when I have it all right what else you got muscles love love you know what I think I'm gonna have this with my um my, yeah, I'm gonna have this with my salad, my mussels. I'm gonna have this with my salad with some garlic butter. Um, yeah, I'm I definitely yeah. I'm gonna have this with my salad. So mussels, every great in protein, uh, great for omega uh, threes, great source of um, a staple. These are seafood, shellfish is a staple um, in especially a keto person's. Uh, diet muscle staple now we have coconut aminos and coconut aminos teriyaki sauce so soy is bad for you um and so and then some other like other sauces have sugar in it this coconut aminos soy free no cane sugar these are the ingredients and everything is organic this is for the teriyaki sauce. Tastes just like teriyaki sauce without all the garbage. This one, coconut aminos, it's a soy free alternative to soy sauce and it's less sodium. These are the ingredients. Tastes just like soy sauce. Staples for it, like stir fries or anything you want to make like uh, Chinese food uh, esque. You want these. Two, if you're keto or paleo or just trying to live a healthier cleaner lifestyle brussels sprouts goes without saying it's a staple um so my lacanto sweetener I had to get another one because i'm running low my mom has been using it i've been making my mom use it along with um this here the coconut i'll get to this but this everybody knows that's keto knows what monk fruit sweetener is and why it's used it's a white sugar replacement these are all the facts zero net carbs, zero glycemic. It does not spike your insulin. It does not spike your blood sugar. Uh, zero calories. It's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement, which means it listen. I know a lot of people say, um, like, sweeteners are, they taste, have a nasty aftertaste or whatever. This does not. This tastes just like sugar. There's no aftertaste. Stevia is also a good replacement, but it has an aftertaste, and not a lot of people like the aftertaste of stevia. So, monk fruit sweetener. You cannot go wrong and obviously keto approved. So I've been getting my mom to um use that versus sugar and use uh coconut milk or coconut creamer or um um creamers without sugar as a replacement with part coffee. This here, this is also my mom. I got her to get this. It's called Palmini, it's heart palm. This is also um a pasta replacement like this. This is just a little bit more hearty, it looks actually like pasta. Um, it has 20 calories per serving. I think there's two servings in here, three servings in here. There's three servings, 
20 calories, four carbs, like four total carbs. Where is it at? Four total carbs, two net carbs, two net carbs. Okay, two. Um, it's gluten free and sugar free, most importantly. Well, gluten free is important too, but um, sugar free as well. So, this is also something, and it tastes just like it tastes just like pasta. You wouldn't even know the difference. It's also vegan and um, non GMO, which is basically it's like organic. Um, so, yeah, so you want linguine Alfredo? Here you go. Then, last but not least, my favorite, this is coconut almond blend. This is, uh, there's no sugar added, 45, 45 calories per serving, a serving is a cup. Um, there, it's carrageenan free. Carrageenan is something that they put in, it's a stabilizer that they put in certain dairy products, but it is known to be cancer, uh, to not, well, yeah, cause, not cause cancer, but, uh, fuel cancer, I should say. Um, it's a carcinogenic, put it, just put it that way. Uh, so whenever you get dairy products, you want it to say carrageenan free or just not have carrageenan in it, period. And let's see. Yep. So that's the ingredients, simple ingredients. Everything else is just like fillers and things like that that are fine, perfectly fine for you. And then a lemon. <laughs> so this is pretty much everything that i got from sprouts i think i spent yeah 119 dollars up on everything so yeah that's pretty much it um so i said in the beginning that i was gonna do a keto do's and don'ts i am still gonna do a keto do's and don'ts um, video but I'm going to do it in a separate video just because I don't want this video to be too long and I also um, don't want to take away from that aspect of it because that's the, I think that's a big part and I think that deserves its own video the keto do's and don'ts so be looking for uh, be looking forward to that video coming up next very soon I know sometimes I post every month every two months and very sporadic but I promise to do a lot better because I do want my channel to grow um, and it won't grow if I don't show up. So, um, yeah. Oh, and actually, <laughs> by now, like right now, later in the day, I have uh, two, 102 subscribers now. <laughs> uh, I gained a subscriber today. So, um, yeah. So, yes, I... <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody who watches faithfully, who comes to my videos faithfully, whether it's the day I upload or days later. It doesn't matter. You still come. You still show up. You putting my name out there. I'll get my, my name out there, my viewership out there. And I thank you so, so from the bottom of my heart. Um, the more I keep growing, the more I keep showing. So, um, yeah. So, in the, in the meantime, go to the grocery store. Get you some healthy food. If you're keto, which I think you would be, or trying to be keto, if you're watching this video, then um, the none of the everything that I've shown you here will not steer you wrong. I didn't make it this far on crap. I'm doing um healthy keto, strict keto. I may sprinkle in a little dab of low dirty little something, something every now and then because I'm human. But for the most part, 95% strict keto because um, we've already dealt with the garbage and the garbage has gotten us absolutely nowhere. The garbage has gotten us fat. The garbage has gotten us with uh, 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 skin problems and heart problems and gut problems. And, and we ain't trying to, we, ain't, we, we trying to do better. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, comment and share, um, like comment and subscribe and do all those things that YouTube provides until next time. I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.